Hello and welcome to the retrospective of the third session of the latest uh, Empire Realm Community multiplayer uh, hosted over on my Discord. So, uh, in this video we talk about what happened in the previous session and also say, hey, come and watch, because the fourth session is live right now. Uh, so, yeah, while if you go to my Twitch right this second, probably not going to be streaming. Uh, in about five minutes, I will be, uh, or, you know, after you've watched this video, head on over to twitch.tv slash lordlambert underscore and you can, uh, you can watch the full session. Uh, but yeah, what happened in the third session? Well, things. We started out in a pretty crappy situation trying to fight around in Germany against rebellions and it was all terrible and horrible and we weren't even, uh, England at that point. We were, uh, still Frisia. Uh, we managed to kick their asses, we formed uh, Saxonia, and then we formed England. And then we formed Saxonia, and then we formed England. Uh, that is a bug that will be fixed, of course. And so now we are this lovely country with a terrible green flag that hopefully will be fixed by the time we uh, we go for the, for the session. Uh, but things are looking up for us. We managed to, of course, unite our island, stabilize our country. We've actually got stability now, which is insane. Like, what is this? I've never seen so much stability. It's fantastic. Uh, and we also managed to uh, expand further afield as well. First, we went down and we took on Getia. Uh, this is so that we can accept the Getian culture, which we now do, and we can accept their military influence, which we have done. That allows us to go into the traditions and take on the quite lovely Illyrian traditions. We haven't taken anything in it just yet, but we probably will be at some point. Once we've taken everything we want in there, of course, we'll be giving this land over to Bohemia, our loyal and trusted friend. We also went down into uh, southern Gaul, and we took this bit of Aquitania. And again, we went for the Aquitani Pops. We haven't yet accepted their um, traditions and, and Iberian ways of war, but once we do we'll be able to take on the Iberian traditions and the Celt-Iberian traditions, which would be quite fantastic as well. But yeah, we managed to snipe that underneath the noses of Bitterigia, and in indeed we'll probably be able to reach all the way to the coastline if maybe he wants to sell me these two little slivers of land. Um, and if he doesn't, he will. Let's just put it that way. Uh, so yeah, we're doing alright. We're doing pretty freaking fantastically if I do say so myself we're uh, we're looking like we're in a pretty strong position we just need this session I think to take the rest of Germania that is going to be my plan my goal my call to arms it's going to be what we are aiming to do other things that happened to other people that aren't me well Numidia murdered the rest of Celtiberia that's the these guys are ridiculously strong he's got like 300,000 troops or something crazy like that hopefully we can stay friends and he's happy to stay south of the 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 it begins with a p I can't Pyrenees the Pyrenees mountains um because I don't want to fight him at all um but uh we'll, we'll have to wait and see on that one uh, Tuskia, of course, after they got beat up by Bohemia for um, this land here in, in uh, Cisalpine Gaul, uh, they've now become friends. And in fact, we both helped less with troops and more with, you know, words of encouragement and tactical advice. Uh, we helped him take these three regions in Gaul as well. So he's, he's having a good time expanding into Gaul uh, for, at Bitterigia's expense. Uh, Bitterigia, yeah, they got beat up a bit by Tuskia. There was, it was a pretty close fight, other than the fact that we were helping Tuskia. Uh, it may have gone differently. Uh, but there's still plenty of land for Bitterigia to annex up in the north. I don't plan on taking any of this here, so he can go ahead and uh, expand to his heart's content up there. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what the, the Gauls did. Um, Asia, I don't know what they did other than really embarrass Phrygia, uh, again, just taking land from him, like, like it wasn't even difficult, it was just a gift. Uh, the amount of free land Asia has taken is actually kind of disgusting at this point. It's, it's borderline breaking the rules with the amount of sales of territory. 
Um, Bosporan Kingdom expanded quite quietly. Uh, Tokaria expanded exponentially. They've taken a good trudge, uh, a good trudge of Armenia. Trudge isn't even a, a word in this context, but whatever. They've taken a good chunk of Armenia. Um, they've just expanded all the way down to the Indus. Uh, Yamna as well, expanding quite heavily over and now into India. And things go pretty good for these guys. Mesopotamian Empire as well, taking chunks out of Cilicia. Uh, some kind of border arrangement, I assume, with the Levantine Republic, uh, as some land did here switch hands. Um, but it's also prime for some really fun late-game wars between these two as they fight for control of uh, Syria and Palestine. That could be really fun to watch. Um... But yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I could really talk about. I didn't see too much of all of the goings-on over here. Mostly I was I was kind of in my own element over in England uh, doing what I could to raise my centralization, uh, expand my country, and, and do what I can do. And I think it's gone relatively well. As we can see, if we have a look here, this is the current world map. Actually, you know what? We'll put the old one on first. So this is the world map and we'll pop it on here. This is the world map and we're doing we're doing pretty alright. That's not the button, that's the button. We're doing pretty alright. We were the blue and now if we go on to the next slide we'll go to see that we are the red. So we're doing okay on that front. Um, we're, we've expanded a little bit in uh, Germany, we've took this bit of land, we took this bit of land, you can see, kind of see where everyone else is going as well. Um, let's go and show this again. ka -chah. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's, it's cool. Um, and then, of course, as you just saw there for a moment, we have also got the power rankings. We have gone from 11th place, 11th place, 11th place at 5.6%, and we have jumped into ninth place with 6.2 percent but we're fairly like of course tokaria has really took off and mesopotamian empire as well has really took off uh but other than that you know what i'm gonna do is is do that all right these guys like he's gone from 8.8 percent .8 to 9.7 percent um it doesn't look like that much of a uh, an increase but it definitely is uh, but Takaria has gone from 8.7 to 18.4, which is insane. It's actually insane. I don't know where this power has come from. Mesopotamian Empire has also expanded quite heavily. Um, it's kind of a runaway. Like, we're, we're not in, basically, we're not in the same game as these guys. The chances of us fighting these guys are fairly slim. Um, we're looking for, like, a fourth place in this uh, at our absolute maximum. Um, and, you know... 6.2%, it, it's a fair chunk ahead of Phrygia, um, and it's it's not it's not unforeseeable that we may be able to get a couple of extra percent and get up to Thessaly. One of the big things holding us back is the lack of a legion in this, yeah, because this, this power ranking counts legions quite heavily, also counts technology. Legions and technology are things that we have still yet to really accomplish, uh, but they are on the way. So, as soon as we get those, I could see ourselves getting a, a decent power spike uh, when we are able to achieve it. Um, but we haven't achieved it yet. Hopefully, we'll we'll try and do something about it today. It would be nice if I could become a kingdom, but with my centralization still quite, quite terrible, um, it's unlikely. We will be uh, hopefully doing our missions here, getting all of Germania, and then we'll see what mission I get after that. Should be a good time. If you head on over to twitch.tv slash lordlambert underscore, there will be a stream starting soon screen to greet you. And then in about five minutes from now, uh, the stream will start. So I hope you will join me over there on twitch.tv slash lordlambert underscore. And we'll have a good time uh, playing some Imperator Rome. Um, should be a good time. So I hope to see you there. Bye-bye.